All right, here we go. So what you were doing before was value, you were mixing values, lightness and darkness of each of our six hues. This is for mixing the hues themselves. So we are going to be making secondary colors by mixing all of these. <clears throat> it's a grid again. And uh, so where the things meet is what you're using. However, if we did the same amount of everything, then you would just have two of e like you'd have warm yellow and cool red here, and you'd have warm yellow and cool red here. It would be the same color. So I want you to experiment a little bit by using heavier use of these and lighter use of these. And if you're like, what in the heck? Don't worry about it. I'm going to show you. If you are not yet using um, Q-tips, this is a great time to do that. So the most efficient way of doing this, which I know everyone wants to be super efficient. Uh, so the hues in this case are going to go, because war where warm red meets warm red, it's just going to be warm red, right? So that's just warm red. Yay. OK. Now, heavy use warm red. Light use, cool red. I am going to, I like to do dots. So for the heavy use, we got warm red here. I can get you some, just wait. That's how I like to do it. You don't have to, but that's how I like to do it. So I'm putting a lot of warm red here, a little bit of cool red, and then I'm going to take a bunch of cool red here. Watch. Watch this. OK, so this is just straight warm red. And now here I'm mixing them warm and cool red, but this is heavy on the warm red. And I'm just going to take what's left on my brush, because I have a little bit of warm red, and mix it with a lot of cool red over here. So if you work this way, this is going to allow you to sort of kill two birds with one stone. So this is what happens when warm red and cool red are mixed with heavy on cool red. And this is what happens when it's heavy on warm red. Now, I'm going to go, I know this is sort of slow. Everyone wants to get going. But now, heavy on the warm red with light on the warm yellow. Just a little bit. Now I'm going to take a bunch of warm yellow, heavy on the warm yellow. Make sure my brush is clean. Boop, boop, boop. And again, the purpose of this is so that you have a key. So that's what happens when I mix warm yellow, warm red. And now I just pull whatever's left on my brush. And this is heavy. Same mixture, but heavy on the warm yellow. Boop, boop. OK. Heavy on the warm red. Light on cool yellow. And then I'm going to take a bunch of cool yellow over here. Dink, dink. Bloop. And I know you all want to keep going. Make sure that's clean. This is what happens when you mix it with cool yellow. Oop, and then pull that over. Heavy on cool yellow. All right. And you will notice on this, you will start to notice that the blues are way, they got a little black vibe going on. They're way more potent than the other colors. So I'm heavy on warm red here. Light on warm blue, wicked light. And I really don't need that much warm blue, even though it's heavy on warm blue here. Make sure your brush is clean. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. So this is how I recommend doing this. If you want to try different ways of mixing, you're more than welcome to. Go for it. Just know that this top row, it's heavy on the top row light on the side row. So if you want to try practicing, pulling it, mixing it on palette paper, totally fine. I'm just showing you the way that I like to do this um, and the way I think is the most efficient. But you're welcome to try. You know, This is all about just sort of like experimenting, finding the way different colors mix, et cetera. So that's that.